um, she has is taking us on a tour. Miss McKenzie is taking us on a tour of the radio station. Yeah. Inside, to see what all goes on with the radio station. Tyler. Tyler Harrison. Okay. okay. So if we, excuse me. If we can all mute ourselves and um, Aria, go ahead and put the mute back on. And Tyler, did you have another question? No, but I wanted to show you guys awesome galaxy slime. <laughs> Very cool. So speaking. Ah, Bella, do you have a question? I have like twenty stuffies, but right now I have one. Stuffy Are we doing stuffy Boy. show and tell? I, I love seeing your stuffies. Hi, everybody. Hello. Everyone, it is 2 o'clock. Um, it looks like we have about 20 people on the line right now, so we're going to go ahead and get started. So, Ms. McKenzie, District Teacher Librarian, and today, we are at, let me flip my camera, KXCR Community Radio. How cool is this? So we have a community radio station in town, and we have two wonderful representatives with us, Kathy and Karen. Kathy, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself for everyone. Hi, my name is Kathy Skelly, and I'm a volunteer and a board member, member at KXCR Community Radio Station. And I'm also a subs to teach here at Science Law School District, and I miss all you guys. So um, let me come and meet you, introduce you to Karen. Hi, Karen. Hi. I'm Karen Hazelwood, and I've been a part of the station for about four years. I have my own show called Dirty Laundry, and I love doing um, doing radio, and, and I love this, this place where I can create and they give me the opportunity to do that and to just have fun. All right. I've got to ask, what is Dirty Laundry all about? <laughs> is it a podcast? Is it like a weekly podcast series? It's weekly. It's a oh, it's radio show. Okay. It's uh, mostly music. When we started out, it was me and my friend Christine, and we did a half hour of talking, and we would talk about different subjects, and then we would play music. And then after a couple of years, she decided she wanted to move on. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> and I wanted to keep the name. Okay. So, and you know, so far there isn't any dirty laundry, but you never know. <laughs> well, how about, can we take a step inside of this room and, and can you kind of give us a tour maybe of some of the equipment and we can do some question and answers a little bit. And then we'll take a, then we'll, Walk over because you have how many studio rooms here? Three rooms. Okay, so this room I've never actually recorded in. I've recorded in that room where Larry is, and he's getting something set up so that we can show you how to actually record and how easy it is to do that. But basically, you have a monitor, you have a really nice microphone, you have a mixing board, and um, and then, you know, like if you have somebody that you're interviewing, we have, you know, extra microphones there. Okay, so it's, and this is to keep all the sound, because we're on like a main street. But if you can tell, you don't really hear the noise from the street at all. So because of the soft egg crate foam. I love that you pointed that out because I know that students were going to ask about that. I bet they have some questions already like, why are the walls covered in that stuff? And students, if you think about in our schools, like in our band and choir rooms, we have some, some implements kind of like the walls you see here to help with sound. And um, all right. Well, um, before we head on over uh, to check in with Larry, I'm going to get both of you in my screen here. Um, so can you all, do you want to give us a little bit of like history of KXCR or just tell us a little bit in general about the studio? Um, yeah, like how long have you been in operation and what can you tell us about? It's been in operation. I have a question. Okay, we'll let you ask this question. Who's speaking? And go ahead with your question. And then, students, we're, uh, just remember, like we usually do, we're going to save questions until the very end just so we get our content in first. But go for it. Go ahead. You're going to call on me? Yes. Is 
is it Kainan? It's hard for me to see your um, your name from my cell phone, but whoever just spoke, you can go ahead with your question. Go for it. Is it the one where it's the having about the field trip? Jasmine is it? I I mean, we haven't met Jasmine yet. Oh, do we have a new student, Jasmine, with us? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Well, thank you. Well, thank you for mentioning that. Welcome, Jasmine. And um, yeah, and we're going to take all your questions. Let's just hold off for about, we'll do about 10, 15 minutes and then get to questions. So remember um, to be put in the queue to ask a question, just hit that little raise hand button on your, the bottom of your screen. Um, all right, so we were talking about KXCR yeah, and so I don't know what your audience, how age? Grade? K to possibly high school. Okay. Got a little bit of everyone on the line here. Okay, so it's been in existence for about nine years. And, um, and it was formed by a group of people that um, really wanted a community radio station. And that's different from the other radio station that's here because mm -hmm. We don't have any advertising. It, this is all a non-profit radio station, and we like to serve the Florence residents, all the people that live here. We want to be in contact with everybody and, and let them come in and be a part of this. That's what community radio is. So there are kids that come in and they want to do something. We, we give them... We help them to be able to to create something that they want, whether it's a show or they want to help out. You know, it's it's very um, open and in inviting to everybody. I'm so glad that you said that because students, we just did a like just a quick little glimpse around the room at all this really cool, sophisticated equipment, and and what they're saying is that this equipment is for you. Like, if you feel inspired to tell your story, you can get in contact with KXCR, and they will teach you how to use the programs. They'll let you use the equipment. They will let you produce or publish or help put a show on air. You can be Florence famous, everyone, okay? Florence? He's famous. Um, ooh, okay, so let's see. I'm trying to think what other questions I had on my sheet. Or anything else that you want to share? Well, we have music. We have um, musicians that come, local musicians that come and use the studio and do some recording. And we also do um, educational shows. We have poetry. We have um, book shares. And all of that are things that we're hoping that the students and the um, community, the Slave Slave community, will come and join us in. Yeah, so we are really trying to get a collaboration off the ground, students, K-12, and staff. So students and staff, um, you're going to be hearing more from KXCR and our library system in the future about opportunities where you can become Florence famous and also, you know, hone in your tech skills. We've all been living in this online environment for the past year. We have all sharpened and learned some really great tech skills like let's take it even further and let's be innovators in Florence yes. um, I would like to you know, just add to that that I was recently in touch with Cyrus La High and I put out a uh, Facebook or a YouTube video with a really 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 short introduction to what it how you use the program which we're going to show you that as well but you know one of the things that we're really interested in is some of you high school students out there or middle school students out there, you guys have your own music that you like. You have your own things that you think are important to talk about. We want to hear from you. Maybe you, you can collaborate. Maybe you two of you can get together and do a show where you talk, just like I did a show where I spoke with a friend of mine. And, and sometimes we would talk and then we would go, let's listen to this song. So, you know, I play the kind of music I like, but I'll bet you it's different than what you like. And if you get enough, you know, uh, you could start with a half an hour a show and you produce it once a week and you'll get a following. You'll get people who want to listen to you. And then, you know, they might write, write in and say, hey, 
can you play this song? Or can you, they'll call you and say, I really want to hear this song. So you're going to reach your friends and your peers. And it's a great way to do it. That is so amazing. And just so everyone knows, here, I'll even flip the camera so you can see me. I want to dive in. Um, one of my best friends, Tisha Richmond, she's a, a educator known across the country. And she has a podcast called Make Learn Be Magical. And it's amazing what she does with that. And I've been a guest on her podcast. I want to do the same thing for Florence. I want to create, just to get us started, I want to create a series maybe called Everyday Heroes, where we just do a half an hour segment each week, podcast conversation, just learning from our Florence heroes, like what it's like working in the school district, living through a pandemic, running the city. We just have so many good things to share about our town. I love it. Okay, I'm going to flip back around. Um, anything else you all want to say right now, or do you feel like it's maybe time to head in and, and see Larry? Yeah, let's head into yeah. the studio. Okay, I'll let you all go first. Okay. You need to use the bathroom. Here it is. <laughs> okay. This is Dirty Laundry. This was my, my friend Christine, and we had... That's a picture of the two of you together. Hey, I have to ask a, a question about tech. I saw that you had a big, beautiful Mac in the other studio. Yeah. Is that what you prefer to use, or do you Actually, use? We're going to be moving over to PC. Okay. All right. Um, because of the type of program that we're going to be working with. Okay. Always good. And then here's another little okay. tech this, office room with like a is, big server or something. So actually, this room is going to be um, for doing live music, isn't it? Isn't it? yes. So people that are musicians can come in here, and they can uh, do, you know, we, we can do it live. So That's we can amazing. do it right on Facebook. Um, we can upload it to YouTube. We can do all kinds of things. That is so, that's so amazing. Yeah. Yeah. You all, this is, we have such, this is such a gem of a little radio station here in Florence because they have all the equipment, they have all the know-how, and they are inviting you to come in and utilize the space, yeah. like how cool is that? So come on into the main room. Okay, main room. Larry, are you going <gasps> to be demonstrating? Hey. Hi, Larry. Do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself? My name is Larry Bloomfield. I am the production manager here and the station manager. So I carry two hats and that can be quite full. I'm responsible for about 168 hours worth of programming each week, and that's a lot of time they have to be filling. So I'll be in here producing shows like this, which I just finished wrapping up a half an hour show, which I have to do a little editing on, and it will be on next week. The nice thing is, is that that's a lot of time to have to fill, and you guys can all participate in helping me fill that time by doing an hour or a half an hour show. We have Grab Bag, which is on Monday nights at 4 o'clock, and anybody could submit something at any time to that, which is really super cool. Or if you actually wanted to create a program ongoing, we could do that too. It's really easy, and maybe if you'd like, I can actually record something right now and show you how simple it actually is. All right, so I'm, at, I'm sitting here at, yeah, I was going to say, Am I speaking into this mic, or it'll just pick up the sound, however? Okay, but then they may want to actually see the footage on your computer yes. to watch the audio file. Yes, so I'm actually recording right now, and you can see my voice being modulated up on the screen. This enables us to be able to record and then go back and edit it if needed. By me speaking, you see my voice, and by... Hello, my name is Jeff McKenzie, and I'm at KXCR Community Radio in Florence, Oregon. You see how that is recorded? Now, we're trying to keep the recording at a certain level, and of course that takes a little bit of practice, but with a little bit of effort, you could be in here doing the same thing. Okay, so Larry, why don't you stop that now, and then let's say, just, just play it back a little bit. Maybe uh, we're. Dad's getting glass of the vacuum. <laughs> so there you go. You can actually see what we just recorded and then replayed. Now, if I didn't like that, you can easily 
select a piece like this, and then go ahead and hit delete on your keyboard, and it would just go away just that fast. Right. And if you make a mistake, you can always go up to here, undo edit, and there it brings it right back into the picture. And this then, kind of software is really nice because it's called Audacity. It is free software, so if anybody's interested, you can download it and get started today. And I'm pretty sure Audacity runs on our district Chromebooks as well. It did oh, in my yeah. last district. It's it's uh, You can do it for a Mac, you can do it for a PC, and it's pretty much the same. There's a few differences between the two. The nice thing that I like to do is so let's say you know you're recording your voice, but you don't just want your voice. So you can play, you can record some music, and then put the music in the background. You can fade it in, and then you know you you start talking, and then you can fade it out, and then another song comes on. You can do all kinds of things. You can do um, special effects. Special effects. That's what it is. <laughs> you can do special effects, which are really fun. Um, and there's all kinds of things you can do. That's that's the beauty of it. The more creative you are, the better off your show will come out. And well, with this ability, I guess everybody could get started just as soon as you can start recording. Yeah, so I think that we are going to, I'm gonna investigate, make sure that we can do Audacity on our Chromebooks or what I have planned for our district libraries. Uh, par particularly moving into next year is 21st century library media centers are reading advocacy, information literacy, digital citizenship, and technology integration. So what we want to see in every one of our libraries is a digital creation hub. So like film creation, podcasting, we want to see a makerspace hub in every single one of our libraries as well. So students, you have a lot of exciting things to look forward to coming from your district libraries in the future. And one of those components is going to be a podcasting collaboration. So within soon, soon we will have equipment for you. We will make sure you're, you have open access and then you have open access here at KXCR. Um, okay, I'm just kind of looking at time. It's 2.17. Yeah. Thing that, um, we are also very happy to help you learn Audacity because it can be, um, I'm going over to somebody's house after I'm done here because she's going to be doing a new show and uh, I'm going to show her a few things. So we are, you know, as part of being a radio station, we're teachers. Yeah. So we want to show you how you can do it. And you, then you'll learn it, and then you'll teach us things that we didn't even know were, that we could do. Uh, it's so, a win-win. Yeah. This is a this is a win-win collaboration. Okay. Um. You know, I feel like we have quite a few hands raised. Do you mind if we take some questions right now? <laughs> okay. So let's remember to be a good digital citizen. Self-muted. <laughs> and Mrs. Craig, why don't you go ahead and um. Start calling on some names, and again, we go in order of hands raised. You've got to do the little hand raise button at the bottom of your Google screen. And if you're not talking, go ahead and mute yourself, because otherwise we get sound reverb on this end. Okay. Um, Mr. Keppel is, has his hand raised first. Hi, Mr. Keppel. Go ahead with your question. Hi. I just wanted to say something real quick. So, about... Before the beginning of KXCR, they had a radio club that began, and I was one of the founding members. So I was also one of the longest founding members that stayed. Nice. I have heard so much about the radio broadcasting club, and I did not know who was in charge of it. So we are going to have to collab. We are going to collab. Oh, my goodness. I love collaborating. We can bring so many people into our this whole entire project. So thank you. Thank you. Do you have any plans on revisiting that or are we kind of, do we have to hit pause or was it a COVID decision? Um, actually it was a pause because of school. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We always have a lot on our plates and there are just always things, but we will, we we're, we're going to pick it, pick it back up somehow, some way together. Thank you so much for that. Mrs. Craig, do you have another one? Yes. Bella Charles. Hi, Bella. Good to see you again. So, um, 
Do preachers go on the broadcast and do it there too? Can teachers, is that what you said? No, preachers. Preachers. Can preachers come in? Anyone from our community? Yes, they're saying yes. Yeah, we have on Sundays, we do a bunch of spiritual type shows that are very interesting in a variety. And I have a variety of people that come in and talk with me on a show that I do, Spiritual Unity Today. Oh, that's awesome. That's all. Hey, that brings up a question. Where do we find, is it just on your website if we want yeah. a listing of programming? If, if you wanted to go to our website, it's kxcr.net. And on there, there's a whole bunch of pages that you can go through. There's a list of all the different programs in our actual schedule of the different shows and when they actually hear it. So it's kind of nice to go through it. We try to accommodate a very, very large variety of people because of being community. That means we have to have everybody. So that means we do a little bit of country. We do a little bit of rock. We do a little bit of this and of that and making it everybody happy. So you have to look for what is going to fit you best. And hopefully that's where you'll listen in on. And students, I did link that web link. Their KFCR website is on the Google Classroom and all the resources for today. All right, let's take another question. Thank you, Bella. Hey, Tyler Holverson. Do you guys make any commercials or video games? Well, we don't actually do anything in video, although we do do some stuff that is on Zoom and then take the audio off of it and use it in that sense. But most of our stuff here is done in a PSA form. That's a public service announcement. Because we're a public radio station, we don't do any commercial type things. So a commercial would be a call to order. Like, for instance, McDonald's having hamburgers for 99 cents. That's a call to order. and We can't do that. But if McDonald's wanted to donate to the school $1,000, for a new camera, we could definitely put that into a PSA and say thank you to McDonald's. Hey, we've done some PSAs for the school district as well, yes, right? Yeah. Uh, can you give us an example of one? Uh, well, some of the girls who were in the medical field are going into nursing and all, and they were doing blood drives and things like that. You guys could come in here, do a PSA saying that you needed a blood drive done on a certain time of day or whatever for people to show up on, and then it helped organize that to making it much more of a better event. That is so amazing. I didn't know that, so useless staff. Anyone can come in, record a PSA for the school district free, yeah. and get it out on the airwaves. How cool is that? The crazy thing is, is we actually take it one step beyond where we'll actually edit that into music and special effects to make it sound just as appropriate as possible and obviously make it go over really well so that your event gets as much as possible out of it. That is amazing. All right. We probably have time for, you know, about two more questions or so. Who's next on the line? This is Craig. <laughs> That's exactly how many hands I have raised. Uh, Sabrina Hurd is next. Go ahead, Sabrina. Well, how many years have it? You guys been working in the radio station? Well, I personally have been here at the station for three years as the station manager, but I have been in the production business almost all of my life. I used to be used as a camera, uh, where, or I used to be used as a image that they took cameras and focused on so that they could get the actual color of skin down. And then that was used for armed forces, radio, and television for a long, long, long time ago when I was very, very small. But I have been in the field for many years being in broadcast, actually creating a radio station with my father as he, as I was growing up. And this has been in my life, all my life. So anybody who's interested in it, it's a, a beautiful field to be into. And if you have creativity, it's someplace where you can really shine. I feel like I just moved from Southern Oregon and I live right next to Southern Oregon University and um, I feel like that was in part of their, so if you wanted to get a degree, would it be mass communications and I also see broadcasts sometimes tucked into the MDA programs, Emerging Media and Digital Arts. I, sometimes there's a link with, with some broadcasts. I actually graduated as an interactive media specialist 
So I learned a little bit about just about everything you can do in media from building websites to video things to all the audio stuff. And I've done just about everything also in my life, a little bit of this and that. And now here I am at the latter part of my life, enjoying the opportunity to be able to sit down and edit stuff that comes out really super creative when I'm all done and people like it. And you could do that too. Hey, I'm gonna add on to that real quick and just say students, uh, I have a degree in library media science. That's what teacher librarians get degrees in. And so sometimes when people think of libraries, they just think of books and like 21st century libraries are so much more like the bulk, especially in the middle of the pandemic. I would say 75% of my time right now is like media production, like what we're doing right now, especially in this digital environment. Um, I feel like we had one last question. This is Craig. Adrina Sneddon. Hi, Adrina. Thanks for joining us again. Welcome. Um, why do you have four computers? Uh, well, <laughs> I have actually, I'm glad you asked that because I'm like envious of his tech right here. Look at this. You want to say something about, I want you to say something about all of your computers and then this contraption right behind you that our students may have never touched before. And I think you probably know what I'm talking about. Sure thing. Well, to give you an idea, first of all, uh, I do work all the time. Even when I step out of the studios, I'm still working. So I have my personal PC over here, which is a laptop. And this enables me to do all of my editing and everything at home if I needed to. The second computer you're seeing here is actually our on-air computer. This is broadcasting right now to us. And it enables us to be able to see exactly what's being played and where it is in that timeline and the shows that are going to be playing later. I'll go ahead and take off my earphone so I can reach it a little better. <laughs> and then when I click on this, you can see these are our programs that are set up till about four o'clock. That is so cool. And in here is our library, which has all of our different PSAs and things that we're hearing and all. And then over here actually has all the list of the different shows we do every single week. A lot. That's a lot of stuff to have to fill up. This other computer here is our backup, but also has the ability for our confidence check. So when we go streaming, we can actually listen to it on here when we want to so that we can know we are actually streaming. And that's a, a very important thing too. As we're moving on down here, we have our tower of equipment and this is everything from our delay equipment for on-ear when you're live because you don't want to say anything that you shouldn't. We actually have a piece, particular piece of equipment here that will cut that out and drop off the last seven seconds of the conversation if needed be. Uh, that's one of the pieces. We also have a, well, these are eight-track tape type, or not eight-track tape, but this is a, a cassette tape. And this is probably something you guys don't see very often more, but this was actually used quite often at one time. And then we actually have a record player up at the top there. And again, I don't know how many of you actually see that, but that used to be very common in a record playing place like this. I have to point it out because one of my favorite things to do in libraries is I always have floating maker stations so a student can walk in and experiment and explore. And I love pulling, I'm just going to show our gals back here, I love when I'm cleaning up storerooms in libraries, finding old technology that I can put out on the they counter always. so students can experience it. Because I, oh, there, I bet there are a lot of students here who have never touched a record player before. But guess what? Ms. McKenzie will show you how to play a record when we return back to school because we have some old record players. Well, one of the things that you'll learn throughout your life is that media technology over time will grow and it will change. And at one time where we used to use record players and then maybe tapes like this, well, then we went to CD players and even CD players nowadays can be somewhat obsolete because the data is transferable right over the internet and whatnot. So who knows what will be when you get to being my age someday. Yeah, that's another thing I love about the media field is that it's innovative, it's creative, and it's constantly shifting and changing and pivoting. 
Cutting edge. Yeah, it's cutting edge, right? So just like we all shifted to online learning students and just having to be able to adapt and be flexible, that's kind of what it's like in any kind of media field as well. All right. Well, it is 2.30 on the dot. We're still going to play our read aloud on the back end. Um, for the three of you, do you all have any final closing comments for our group or anything you want to say before we head into our read aloud for the kiddos? Oh, and students, remember, it's the end of the quarter. When you listen to the read aloud, you can turn around and take an AR test on it. We're trying to get all of our AR points in. But any final thoughts or like to say you all got a chance to see me and the equipment here i hope i will see you working here to be able to operate some of this yourself that's awesome and i'll swing over here we can see you at kxcr come in come okay in. and you know or call us and we'll set up a time and we'll walk through with you and you can come to the board and we can do a practice run on audacity and, and then you can go home and try it yourself yay awesome all right, well, we're going to head on into our read aloud. Thank you, students. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my mic and camera. And hey, one final thing. Let me flip my camera around. Um, so we are at the elementary school um, shifting to hybrid learning. So our learning schedule is going to change. However, we're going to continue doing these virtual field trips every week. And I think we're going to stick to the same time. I'll get some feedback from teachers and adjust if I need to. But they've been really successful, and the beauty of these virtual field trips is that we can do them whether we're in the classroom or CDL at home, and we're just making really beautiful connections with our community. So keep on joining us every Thursday, everyone. Okay, enjoy your read aloud. Take your AR test, please. Thank you. Bye. I'll see you at next Tuesday. I'll see you at next Thursday. Bye. I'll see you. Wait, it's not over. You're right. We can't hear it. Happen, we have announcers, directors, Researchers, maybe music director, program directors, all that good stuff. So we do have a couple of different books about radio stations. But for today's specific read aloud, because Valentine's Day is coming up, I'm going to read you Hair Love. Um, and I do want to say, uh, make sure you're checking out Mrs. Craig's awesome weekly uh, read alouds at the elementary level. And she often interacts with them. Valentine's Day, mm -hmm. get our meals. Hi, it's Miss McKenzie, your district teacher. Like, because we're talking about Valentine's Day soon. This book is about love, and it's Black History Month, okay? And it's the end of the semester or the quarter, and we all need to get all of our AR points. So here we go. Hair Love by Matthew A. Cherry. And it is worth a uh, half an AR point. My name is Zuri, and I have hair that has a mind of its own. It kinks, coils, and curls every which way. Daddy tells me it's beautiful. That makes me proud. I love that my hair lets me be me. In funky braids, with beads, I'm a princess. And when my hair is in two cuffs, I am above the clouds like a superhero. My hair even does magic tricks. One day Rocky and I were playing outside when along came the rain. From large to small it went, presto, just like that. There is nothing my hair can't do. Today, I woke up extra early all by myself. I was too excited to sleep. It's a big day. Daddy was still sleeping. Shh, I said to Rocky as we tiptoed past him. Lately, Daddy has been worn out. He makes me breakfast, takes me to school, goes to work, 
picks me up, and yesterday, we went for a bike ride around the park. I think she needs a break. Because today is special. I want a perfect hairstyle. This calls for a professional's touch. All off, Rocky. Daddy heard the crash. Suri, what on earth? He asked. I was only trying to help, I said. Daddy smiled. Can I help too? It'll be a piece of cake, Zuzu. The first style was a big, no way. The second was no better. No, Daddy. Then Daddy tried slicking my hair back into two puffs. Ouch, Daddy yelled. Choo. Wait a minute, Daddy said as he reached into the drawer and pulled out a pick. Ta-da! Daddy, really? I said. I'll be right back, he promised. Now, how's that? He asked, pulling a hat down over my eyes. Daddy, come on, we can do better than that. I really need my hair to be special. Don't worry, he said, we'll figure this out. Then, I had a great idea. Daddy gathered all the tools we needed, and we were set. Watching carefully, Daddy combed, parted, oiled, and twisted. He nailed it! Funky pop buns! Pretty, pretty, and so much fun! Rocky and Ruth, too. I put on my superhero cape as the final touch to a perfect look. Where's my Zuzu? Mommy called from the door. She could not get in the house fast enough. Mommy! You've got to be the prettiest supergirl I've ever seen, she said. And your hair is beautiful, Zuri. Who did it? I looked at Daddy and B. Mommy smiled. Very nice. Thank you. We learned from the best, Daddy said, and he gave her a big hug. My hair is Mommy, Daddy, and me. It's hair love. Hi, hi. There you go. Make sure you take that AR test. Okay, that's it, guys. Thank you for coming to our field trip. Um, hope you have a good day. And don't forget to take that test. That is a wonderful story. And Bye. I'll, I'll see you guys later. Go ahead and um, hang up your phone there. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye, Joa. I'll see you on next Thursday. Bye. 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 I'll see you next Thursday. Taylor, did you have a question? Um, I just talked on when they when. Everybody, um, sorry, leaving. I hopped on when everyone started leaving. Oh, I'm sorry. Next Thursday, try and be here at two, and then you'll get to see it all. Alrighty. Well, I was confused because my teacher sent me the uh, second one, and I wasn't, and I didn't know if I was supposed to be on at two o'clock, so. I just waited for a little bit and it didn't work. So I tried to go to the 231 and it worked. Alrighty. Well, next time, remember 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock on Thursday. Okay. Bye. Right. Bye.